So we asked you guys in some of our recent videos and on Instagram if you were interested in some more warming, hearty, <laughs> nutritious, and delicious breakfast options, and you said yes and gave us a big ol' thumbs up on that, so we are here to deliver. Yes. So we've got a protein-packed pressure cooker power bowl for breakfast, <laughs> and we are using classic steel-cut oats. Welcome back to the kitchen. We've got a warm, hearty, wintry breakfast for you guys today. So I was outside literally putting up Christmas lights last weekend and I came inside to this steaming bowl of <laughs> chocolatey banana apple oats and that's what we are going to show you guys today. Yeah, so a lot of people get bored with their typical oatmeal recipes. We're going to show you our take on it. And the best part is that, is that it's sweetened with whole foods. We've got the quick cook oats, yep. we've got the rolled oats, and then we've got steel cut, and then we've got oat growth, which right. are whole oats. But the steel cut is going to be your best bet in the pressure cooker because they get creamy and delicious. Right. These are gluten-free, low glycemic load. They taste better than rolled oats. They're better for you, and they're just amazing. Yeah, and on top of that, in the pressure cooker, you won't have to babysit the stove top. I know that when we make them <laughs> on the stove, they're always overflowing and yeah. bubbling everywhere, and it is a mess to clean up. <laughs> so another thing that I love about oats lately is that they're super high in iron, which is great for everybody, but especially for mamas-to-be, because we can tend to be depleted in our iron stores because our babies are just taking it all. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoy this recipe, if you want to see more like it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already joined us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell. That'll turn your notifications on. You'll get alerted whenever we put out brand new videos on this channel. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below. Share this vid with family and friends and follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram and across all social media at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Let's get cooking. So you guys will need two cups of your steel cut oats, two tablespoons of cacao powder, about a half cup of pitted and soaked dates, two ripe bananas, a large Honeycrisp apple, a teaspoon of vanilla flavor, a crack or two of some pink Himalayan sea salt, cinnamon to taste, and then depending on how creamy or thick you want your oats, we usually do four to six cups of water. Okay, so we've got our pressure cooker here. Whether you have an instant pot or a kosori like we've got here, it doesn't matter. Any pressure cooker will do, but the important thing is that we're going to put the pressure on as high as possible. So we're gonna go manual, pressure, put it all the way up, and then we're also gonna go manual with our time, and we're gonna take it to four minutes. So this is gonna fly by, but we do have to give it time to build pressure. So it honestly takes a little bit longer than four minutes, but like I said, you don't have to babysit it. So that's a plus. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put in our four to six cups of water, our steel cut oats, and a crack of salt. So we've got our oats, our water, and our salt in our pressure cooker. We're just gonna give them a quick stir, pop the lid on, and let them cook up. And make sure that the vent is in the sealed position. Now, if you wanted to, you could add all of the rest of the ingredients into the pressure cooker at the same time, but in order to preserve as many nutrients as possible, we don't want these to cook up. We've found just as much success waiting and adding them in after everything else is already cooked. So like Aaron said, we usually like to just leave them out and mash them up beforehand and add them in after. Okay, so time is up. Our oats are cooked, but before you hit the release valve, I will say you might want to let your oats set for a few minutes so the pressure isn't quite as intense. We have had a few incidences where things tend to shoot and spray everywhere. <laughs> so I would recommend having a wad of paper towels or better yet, a damp cloth on hand just to place on top of the release valve when you release it so that you don't make a mess. You guys ready? We're gonna pop the lid off 
And we're gonna add in all of our delicious sweet treats to make this oatmeal savory, sweet, and delicious. In the fall and winter months, honey crisp apples are one of my favorite treats. They're so good right now. The longer you let your oats set, the thicker they will get, and it will give the banana, the apple, and the dates a little bit of time to sweeten up. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but this looks delicious. This is an afternoon snack. We actually had these for dinner last night. So technically not always a breakfast food, but they're bomb any time of day. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that bell to stay notified, Follow Aaron and I at on all forms of social media at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. Leave us a comment below and share the video with friends. In the meantime, eat, move, and rest. Your best. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs>